Welcome to Power Code Music, I'm Sybil Allen. In this video, we're gonna talk about free studio gear upgrades. Now, before we start, I wanna ask you a quick question. Would you go a year or more without upgrading your computer or your cell phone that is the software in it? Doesn't make much sense, right? If you didn't do that, that would leave your uh, gear open or your uh, equipment open to security risks and hazards, uh, new features, uh, error corrections, all kinds of things that just absolutely you cannot really do without in this day and age. You want to keep those uh, products up to date. It's a no-brainer, right? So let me ask you another question. How many pieces of equipment in your studio do you think has computers in it that could be upgraded? That is firmware or software within them that could be upgraded quite a few. Now we all know this. We know that many of the items in our studios have, you know, software in them that need to be upgraded uh, at some point, but we don't, many of us don't ever do it. You probably have equipment that's a year or more old that you've never up upgraded, maybe even older than that. That doesn't make any sense, especially out there when the upgrades most of the upgrades out there for the equipment that you have, especially the newer equipment, is free. So, we're talking about keyboards, mixers, guitar amplifiers, guitar pedals, drum machines, drum modules, digital multi-track recorders, effects processors, digital accessories, all kinds of things that all actually have firmware or software that can be upgraded. Now, let's take a look at why this is important. Your music is your sonic identity. It's who you are. You want to sound as, as good as you can at all times. You want your equipment running at peak efficiency so it can support that fact. It just makes sense. Why would you not want that? Why would you spend all your time on you know equipment that is basically outdated and doesn't have the latest and greatest features that you could use to make yourself sound better? It just doesn't make any sense to do, to, not to do that. So one important thing with firmware upgrades is they fix errors. That's one of the major reasons why they bring them out. They add new features. They make products, in many cases, sometimes difficult products, easier to use. In many cases, it's like getting a new product. And it can also extend the life of your product, make your product run more efficient, which is the whole point. We want the best possible product we can get to support our music and what we're doing. We want it to be as easy as possible. These are some of the things that firmware upgrades or software upgrades to your studio components do. Now, how do you perform a firmware upgrade? Um, number one is you want to check out your manual for your product and if you don't have the manual with you you can always go online and download it from the manufacturer's website. Also when you go to the manufacturer's website it's very very important to uh, put in your product uh, model and number and pull it up and look under support for your product or your model and see if they have firmware OS upgrades. In many cases they do if it's a computer driven uh, product. So what you want to do is follow those directions to the letter. With the newer equipment, in most cases, it's usually a file or something that you can download and then they'll tell you the process that you need to go through in order to perform the upgrade. Um, older equipment in many cases have maybe a component like an EEPROM that you might need to pop out and replace because it has the OS on it that runs the equipment. Um, and that may cost you money. You may be able to find that online or maybe able to buy it from the manufacturer. You just need to check. And in some cases, if you're really squeamish about doing it, I do all those types of upgrades myself. I have um, the experience and background uh, to do that. And I've done that for many uh, older products in my studio. But if you feel uncomfortable doing that, take it to a computer store, uh, a shop and have them do it. Or in some cases, you might need to send it back to the manufacturer and have them do it. Either way, there's many different ways that you can get that done so you can look into it uh, if you don't want to do it yourself. But in most cases with the newer products, like I said, there's a file that you would download uh, and they, would, they tell you how to go through the process of actually upgrading uh, that on the device. So follow that to the letter. It's very, very important because if you don't, in many cases, you can actually ruin your hardware and nobody wants that. So use your discipline and stick to it. Follow those directions to the letter. I cannot state that enough. 
please do that. With this, you can, in many cases, get new features, get a product that's easier to use, extend the life of your product, correct errors, make your products support your music to the best of their ability and make your life easier. In many cases, again, the upgrades are free. Free. Why not take advantage of that? If you upgrade your phone and your computer, upgrade the components in your studio. It's just smart. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. I'd love to hear your feedback, so please leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out every seven to 14 days, and while you're here, take a listen to some of the other music on the website and some of the other videos and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you soon.